In the last video we created the three basic shape types. The circle, the box or the square and the line segment. And these are in the API reference the circle segment and the poly object has this uh, static method called create box we used here and in this video we are going to use the poly object and define the vertices for a triangle and for a pentagon so let's start with a triangle so triangle um, shape and pymunk that poly and here for the body type I'm going to for now just give none and the vertices so it will be a tuple of tuples so the first vertex will be at zero zero the second vertex will be at x 100 uh, y 0 and the third vertex will be at uh, 50 on x and 100 on y so let me show you here in Inkscape as you see the first vertex is in this so this is the screen let's say and the first vertex is at 0 0 position so and the second vertex 100 on x and 0 on y and the third vertex is on 50x and 150y and it goes counterclockwise so it's winding it goes from here here and here so now let's create the moment for the triangle so triangle underscore moment and uh, pymunk that moment for poly it needs a mass the mass is defined here so it needs a mass uh, and the vertices so triangle shape dot get vertices and now let's create a body for the triangle so triangle underscore body and this will be the pymunk dot body and give it a mass and the moment so triangle moment and now let's set its position so triangle body dot position to let's say 550 on x and 100 on y and before you add the shape to the space you need to you need to uh, give the shapes body to the set the shapes body to the triangle body so triangle shape dot body equals triangle body and now let's give it let's add it to the space so triangle body and uh, triangle shape let's run it yes here we have our triangle and lastly just create a pentagon so penta shape will be equal to pymunk dot poly and for the body none and the vertices so 
a tuple of tuples. The first vertex will be at 0, 0. The second vertex will be at 100 and 0. The third vertex will be at uh, 150 and 100. And the fourth vertex will be at 50 and 200. 50 and 200. And the last vertex will be at negative 50 and uh, 100. Yes, uh, here I'm going to back to Inkscape. There, here is the pentagon, so it goes from 0, 0 to 100 and 0 and 150 and 100, 50 and 200 and back to the negative 50 and 100 and, and negative because it starts from 0, 0. So the last vertex, as you see here is the screen, goes to negative 50 on X. And the winding, of course, it, it is also counterclockwise. So as you specify your vertex vertices. Mm, okay, so now let's calculate the moment. So penta moment will be pi mark dot moment for poly for poly and the mass and the penta shape penta shape that get vertices and now let's create a body so penta body is pi monk dot body give it the mass and the penta moment penta moment okay and now set the shapes body to the penta body so penta shape dot body equals penta body and now let's set its position so penta body that position and this will be at let's say 700 and uh, 100 and now add it as well to the space i'm going to just make here a new line and the penta body and also the penta shape okay here we have the pentagon so that's how you define your custom shapes in pymonk and one other thing if you go to the API reference, here is the poly. And as you see, it needs to be a convex polygon shape. Slowest but, but most flexible collision shape. So a convex hull will be calculated from the vertexes automatically. Mm, okay, so what is the convex? shape here i typed into google convex versus concave so and as you see here is an image it's a concave and here is an another image is convex but if you go to images here here are good uh, examples in in the left side these are the convex shapes and on the right side these are the concave shapes so they have these indentation or caves in them mm, or here is also a good picture these are the convexes and these are the concave shapes so make sure if you define your vertices you define them as convex shapes and lastly, just a small info, it's always good to define your vertices in local space and then move, move the body's position into, in the, into the desired location. So uh, 
here it is here is our our uh, pentagon shape and when you set here the body's position to 700 and 100, 700 on x and 100 on y what happens is it, it just moves the whole uh, pentagon 700 on x and 100 on y so and that's why better to define everything in local space and then apply a word transformation uh, as as it is here 